for Kurdish people. Stroke of a pen, major power rendered the Kurdish people voiceless victims of brutal regime in the modern Middle East, setting the stage for wide-ranging and un unending persecutions and denial of their very existence. It's like, it's like we have a family, you know, and, and, and half of your family live this side of the road, and half of your family that side of the road. And some, some military tells you, you can't be one. Well, we got a message for them. We can be one, we are one. We've been one for a hundred years where they've been trying to keep us away and we'll be one for another hundred years and it will go on and on and on and on until Ossalan is released and until the Kurdish people have their rightful place. Shocking collusion between Turkey and Britain and other countries to deny the Kurdish people their rights. And this is where it opened up a century, a century of shocking crimes that have been committed against the Kurdish people. Together we rise against laws and lies. Together we rise against laws and lies. Together we rise against laws and lies. We here in Australia, so far away, people look at us and say, my goodness, if here in Australia, in Sydney, they're protesting, if I'm in Germany, or if I'm in Turkey, or if I'm in Rojava, I must stand up and also do the same. So you coming here today is an inspiration to so many people. I thank you. Continue your struggle and free Ocalan and Rojava for the future. Thank you. Kurdistan! Australia in this one. In actually you might know, you might not know, that in 1923 Australian pilots, part of the British forces, they bombarded the city of Suleimania, one of the uprising of the Bashur and the south of Kurdistan. This is the chance right now for the international community like we have all the other friends from the International Community of Australian political parties here to stand up and say no. No for the misery, no for destruction, no for killing of people, and yes for self-determination of Kurdish people. What is our message to our government? Be on the side of the victims of colonialism, not on the side of the colonial powers. That's what our government should be doing. On the side of the oppressed, not on the side of the oppressors. Not on the side of the people who, with the Lausanne Treaty, disappeared the Kurdish nation and the Kurdish people. Be on the right side, be on the side of justice, be on the side of freedom. 100 years ago, on the 24th of July, 1923, an international conference of allied powers took place in Lausanne as a result of previously fought wars of distribution in the Middle East. At this conference, Kurdistan was illegally divided among four nation states through the so-called Lausanne Treaty. With this, the systematic policy of denial, assimilation and cultural genocide against the Kurdish people was initiated. The Kurdistan was transformed into an international colony. After the signing of the Treaty of Lausanne, a dark period began in Kurdistan. Millions of Kurds have lost their lives in Turkey, Iraq, Iran and Syria. Just from 1925 to 1938, Hundreds and thousands of Kurds alone were massacred and expelled in northern Kurdistan and a policy of starvation, torture, denial and assimilation was established. Free, free Kurdistan! Free, free Kurdistan! Free, free Kurdistan! Free, free Kurdistan! Jinjian Azadi! Jinjian Azadi! Woman, life, freedom! Woman, life, freedom!